Hey everyone and welcome back. I'm Trix and today we're finally getting back to the content as usual. Given how hectic things have been the last couple months and things picking up at work, I haven't really managed to set aside a lot of time to work on videos for YouTube, but hopefully this is the start of getting back to normal. Today with a fair bit of coaxing from a few members in my Discord, I thought I would tackle one of my projects sitting on my fan art to-do list. Trust me when I tell you, that list is a bit busy at the moment, but I plan to whittle away at the list as time goes by. Starting with today's piece, my first Catherine full body fan art, focusing on the main characters Vincent and Rin. To those of you who watched me play Catherine on my streams a little while back, you will know how enamored I was with these two characters and their relationship straight away. To those of you who don't know the game and want to give it a go without spoilers, no worries, I'll try my best not to give anything important away, but I can highly recommend giving it a go. Um, if you're 16 years or older, that is. This game ain't for children, I'm telling you now. There's a reason I age-restricted the streams, cause, uh, yikes. <laughs> Anywho, halfway through my playthrough of Catherine, I got the biggest itch to create artwork based on Ren and Vincent. They were so precious together, even though I forked up in my initial playthrough and ended up with Catherine with a K instead of Ren like I actually wanted. <sighs> but hey, I looked up a walkthrough and quickly fixed that in my second speed through the game. I actually may have been a bit biased in preferring Ren before I even started the game because the color of her hair. I mean, just look at my avatar and branding. Red and pink are my hero colors. But then after getting to know her in just the first few stages of the game, her personality shone through and the dynamic of the relationship between her and Vincent to a permanent Ren and Vincent fangirl. And I wasn't the only one that had that happen to them during the streams. They know who they are. Alright, so to the artwork at hand. One of my concepts for Ren and Vincent I wanted to create was to depict a moment where Vincent is cradling Ren close and staring down something that threatens them both. I'm a sucker for a big, tall, protective, romantic hero, so it was important that he look up at the threat while Ren cowered into his arms for comfort and protection. Don't ask me what he's staring down? <laughs> that would be too spoilerific, but those familiar with the game can fill in the blanks. Vincent actually came together so well. I loved his badass stare down so much, but Holy heck, his anime hair was a bit intimidating to recreate. Finding that happy medium between both the 3D model and anime look used in the game that would work for my art style was a bit of an experiment. I'm not 100% sure it ended up looking like human hair in the end. More like how I draw fur to be honest, but hey, his hair looked very fuzzy in the game anyway. Rin came together reasonably well until it came time for me to draw her eyes. Jeez. Given her head is tilted down slightly and pressing herself into Vincent's chest, drawing her features didn't come together as easily to me as his. In fact, when I thought I had the sketch all done, her eyes continued to rub me the wrong way. There was just something really off about them in the context of the whole piece, so I actually did a bit of experimenting off camera. I just needed the opportunity to take a step back and look at it at a different angle without any pressure of a ticking clock. As much as I'd like to think recording my process doesn't affect me, it ain't 100% the case in most situations. So skipping ahead, I played around with turning those frightened crunched up eyes into a scared and wary look in the vague direction Vincent is looking as well. So much happier with how her eyes and brows turned out this time around. They actually look more true to her Atlas art style origins this way as well. Having such round eyes was an interesting challenge to figure out how they'd look on a slight tilted down angle. Sketch all done, I've got to say it was a given that I would go ahead with my dynamic line art style for this piece, given the art style their characters were created in. Thank goodness I've actually had a lot of practice with it recently given Inktober in the direction I've gone with my two recent design pieces. You guys who joined my artist livestream the other week will already know about them. If you're curious to see what I've been working on, you're welcome to look back at the video before this one. Despite Photoshop wanting to frustrate the crud out of me, I had a really good time hanging out with you guys and working on the pieces. At this time, one has actually already been finished and submitted. Keep an eye on my social media and I'll let you guys know when you can pre-order the Kingdom Hearts Holiday and Yu-Gi-Oh! fanzines. And I'll share some snippets of my work in progresses and finished pieces on my social media as well. Sorry, sidetracked again. Back to Vincent and Rin. Got to admit, Vincent's hair was a lot easier to sketch than it was to ink. I don't know what it is about wispy hair that I've never felt comfortable inking. 
It just hardly ever looks quite right to me. The manga artist masters out there, gosh, I envy their skill so much. I know it isn't effortless, but damn, it looks it. Once that nightmare was over though, the rest of it came together fairly well. Colours were pulled from the references I'd collected from the game, and I knew I wanted to set them in an environment relevant to a key location in the game. I don't want to offend anyone, but there was a lot of cathedral and religious-ish imagery in the game, so I searched for a nice cathedral stained glass window photo to set as my background for this piece. From there, one of the things I noticed the game did was bump up the exposure of the light streaming in from the windows and blur them, creating a very soft and bright mood that I wanted to replicate. In particular, the blue glow that followed Rin around, so it was important that I change the hue of the window and light to appear more cyan, cyanish blue. With the main and strongest light source now set behind them, well, you know what that means. A strong as heck rim light and a lot of shadow in the front. Honestly, it seems to be my go-to type of lighting these days. I swear. I never try to do it on purpose, but heck if it keeps happening over and over again. You know the drill. I set a full multiply layer of a color from the environment as the shadow base, and from there I alternate between an eraser and brush at half opacity and flow to carve away at the areas the light source would hit to start building the 3D shape of the characters. Then from there things can vary depending on the setting, but today I set a screen layer to paint down the blue rim light cast through the window and another multiply layer to deepen the shadows and further define the form of the characters and where the environmental light wouldn't have as strong as an effect like the half of Ren's face closest to Vincent's chest and half of Vincent's face. Then from there with a bit of added environmental atmosphere, color balance tweaking and added texture, my first Catherine full body fan art project was complete and ready to be this month's HD art file reward for my Patreon. So glad this came together so well in the end. It's honestly good to be getting back into the creative groove again after such a hellish couple months. Things are finally looking up and starting to settle again. And hey, exciting news! My partner and I have a new kitten joining the family soon. He's a precious little guy and I can't wait to spoil him rotten. I'll be away all next week on an annual family trip, but after that he should be ready to come home by the end of the month, so hopefully I won't get too distracted that I miss any deadlines. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video be sure to tap that like button, share it, or leave a comment below. If you have a couple coins to spare, please consider pledging to my Patreon which directly funds my channel and art projects in exchange for a range of exclusive rewards. Every little bit helps and anything is greatly appreciated. Until next time, see ya!